Hey, 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 it's trailer time. Thank you very much. Yeah, Biggest trailer we got this week was for <laughs> Wes Anderson's Asteroid City. Now, George, opinions. What do you think? Uh, this is the most Wes Anderson, Wes, Wes Anderson. Anderson-y trailer I've ever seen in my entire life. Um, I'm very excited. I, I know this is a hot take, but I think The French Dispatch is his best film. So I think he's coming off hot um and i'm really excited he's obviously working with another stellar cast a couple of newbies to his filmography which i'm excited to see him work with um it looks like a very uh weird mix of comedy of wes anderson comedy and wes anderson science fiction which i'm curious to see how those two are going to mesh together because like wes anderson's comedy is like it's very unique it can be dry at times it may not get like the little like a massive ha ha out of you, but it'll get you to like do a little like like a nose thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then I don't I don't know how Wes Anderson's science fiction is gonna go. So I'm curious to see how those two are gonna coexist together. But I'm very excited. Uh, again, it just looks very Wes Anderson-y. You either like his filmography or you don't. When I posted my trailer reaction on TikTok, every other comment was I just don't like Wes Anderson filmography. Every other comment was, I love Wes Anderson's I love yeah. filmography. So it, it's it, it, he's hit or miss for you. For me, it's it's a hit. Um, I, I love what he does. I love The French Dispatch, Grand Budapest, Isle of Dogs, Fantastic Mr. Fox. So I'm excited. I'm very excited. It's one of my most anticipated movies of the year. Yeah. I think it's, it's if you love Wes Anderson's filmography, you'll probably end up loving this. If you don't like his style, you probably won't like this because it, it looks like that. Any more thoughts, Tyler? Cam? Yeah, it's just like maximalist Wes Anderson at this point. The cast is pretty stellar. We didn't see a lot of them in the trailer. A lot of people are theorizing that they're going to be like the aliens that come to the town of Asteroid City, like Margot Robbie and the other people Probably, we haven't seen yeah. yet. Uh, Jeff Goldblum, all being aliens. Um, but yeah, it looks it looks like something I'm really going to like. I'd be, I'm going to be, like I'm going to call it right now, I'm going to be surprised if I love it. Like if I drop a 4.5 or a 5 out of 5, I'll be pretty surprised. Um, but I'm expecting it to be like very much like a 3.5, 4 out of 5. It's again like you're saying. It's if you don't like Wes Anderson, you're gonna hate this movie because this looks like the most like breaking the gauge, like off the chain Wes Anderson in terms of his style and how he goes about making a movie with his crazy ensemble cast and wacky ideas for a plot. Um, but yeah, looks fun. We still don't know a ton about, about what it's about, which I enjoy. Like it was a very like it was a, quite a long trailer. Like when I was when I was watching, I was like, damn, there's still a lot more left of this. But yeah. still, I don't feel like it gave away much of what's gonna be going down in this movie. So. A plus trailer on that front to get you excited and show you what it's kind of a little bit about without spoiling too much. But, but yeah, I'm excited for it. I'd be surprised if I absolutely love it, but I think it'll be very good. Does uh, I don't know much about his budgets, so and I think he does. Does he always have like, considering the ensemble cast and the set design, is or his budget's always quite low? Because it did surprise me to hear that the budget for this film is like 20 million, I think, which for the cast is is like, you know, you've got some huge names in this cast. It did surprise me. Yeah, his, I think people just always take pay cuts to work with them. Yeah. I he think gets the, French, the same people, doesn't he? That's yeah, French, the budget them. for the French Dispatch was $25 million. Interesting. Okay. It's clear uh, that people just trust him, don't they, in the work, and they're just happy to work with him again. That's the thing, isn't it? Yeah, $25 million for the Grand Budapest Hotel. Yeah, I feel like oh. he's just, at this point, just one of those names that, like, people want to take on a Wes Anderson movie. It's unique. It's different. It's going to push, like... The way they act and how they change up their personas. So he does a lot of model work too, which is very yeah, his model work very is, yeah. cheap comparatively to like you know obviously CGI or building an entire set. He's a big model work model guy, work. so I think that's pretty easy for him. Um, I do want to say I don't know what the fuck is going on in this trailer. This trailer <laughs> basically tells you nothing. Um, that's and, a good thing. That's and, a good thing. No, that's a very good thing. I just I don't know what the fuck's going on and. <laughs> it looks like the entire thing was drawn with like a pastel marker or, or crayon or whatever. That's you Anderson, it. baby. That's what yeah, it's, yeah, and it's, gotta, it's fantastic. I'm really excited for it. I got a question for you guys. Do you think there are filmmakers out there? And my answer is yes, because I'm going to say Christopher Nolan and I'm going to say Wes Anderson. Do you think there are filmmakers out there that could say, I have a movie dropping on this day. Never release a poster, never release a trailer, and will still sell out theaters. Yes. Do you think any filmmaker working today has that like pull? Because I truly think if the Russo brothers just said Avengers Endgame 7, 14, 2019, it yes. still would have become the highest grossing movie of all time. 
Yeah, I don't know. Christopher Nolan's definitely one of them. Obviously, we've seen it's Steven Spielberg's not one of them because like the Fablemans didn't do great. Yeah. Um, is this? A, um, I, I'd say like. like do you think it? Dude would have that Dune too? Do you think it would have no. that pull? Like if Denis mm, didn't release a trailer or a poster, do you think it would have that pull? Hmm. Honestly, I'm not even trying to be like major film bro here, but for me personally, I think Christopher Nolan might be the only director who I can confidently say I, would sell I, out a theater. I think no Wes Anderson. Marketing. Wes Anderson has a huge yeah. following. I, yeah, by I, film, I by I film definitely. fans though, but no casual person likes Wes Anderson. Yeah, I they definitely do. Think I know loads of people like Wes Anderson. Well, like I worked at maybe it's because like Grand Budapest Hotel more so put him on the map. But when I worked at a movie theater and that movie came out, that that was crickets. No one was going to see that. Really? Oh yeah. But, okay. but again, that's like maybe nine now, years ago at this because point. Because of Grand Budapest, because of like the films that have come out the last few years, maybe it is film. But I just think Wes Anderson has this massive cult following that will just follow everything he does. Maybe know. it's a small percentage. Like I don't, I don't even think Scorsese could do that today. It depends on well, we'll get onto it because it, yeah, yeah, we'll get. Yeah. It depends on the Scorsese film. I don't know, man. Like, I think it also, you know, when you say that nothing is released, are the cast released as well? Because I think that makes a difference. You know what I mean? No, no cast. I don't know if any directors though. I think I honestly, Tarantino would. I think, I think Tarantino, Tarantino would. would. Yeah, yeah. If, he would now it. because it's his last film potentially. Do you know like what I mean? truly think if Christopher Nolan just said, "Yo, I got a movie dropping on this day," didn't even give us a title, people would still be in the theater. Just for Probably. sheer anticipation yeah. on like what Probably. it would be. Yeah, maybe more so because and the I fact that no yeah. one fuck it is <laughs> right. Like... And I wouldn't say like Martin Scorsese falls under that because I feel like his filmography is quite diverse, so you wouldn't yeah. really know what you're getting. Whereas Christopher Nolan, you know, it's going to be. Crazy action set pieces, visual epic, something you need to see in theaters. So it'd be an interesting question.